it's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So today I'm in competition with the microwave. That's what that sound is. So today, Proposition 96. Referendum on amendment to Indian Gaming Compact. Yes vote approves and no vote rejects a law that ratifies an amendment to existing gaming compact between the state and, oh my god. Ah, Sikuin Band of the Kumaye Nation. Fiscal impact net increase in annual state revenue is probably in the tens of millions of dollars growing over time through 2030. Or, referendo sobre una enmienda del acuerdo de juego indígena. Un voto sí, aprueba y un voto no. Rechaza una ley que ratifica una enmienda del acuerdo de juego existente entre el Estado y la banda. Ay. Sí, cual. De la nación. Oh, Chihuahua. Cumeye. Impacto fiscal. Aumento neto de las recaudaciones anuales del Estado, probablemente de decenas de millones de dólares, que aumentará a lo largo del tiempo hasta el año 2030. Direct translation, see, all the way down. Getting lots of mail. Let's go back to the mail again. Ah, crap, I moved it. Well, you're just going to have to trust me. Oh, wait, what's this? Here we go. Propositions 94 through 97. Help pay for public services across California. It's technically true because of the tax revenue generated by them. However, if the tax revenue, if the, if the taxes were taken at the same rate as they are at racetracks and card rooms, then we would have more money for public safety school seniors and health care. So this helps if we consider the people that only will gamble at Indian casinos because they're Indian casinos, because they're run by Indians. Although I went to Thunder Valley and I didn't see anybody there that look remotely Native American, so lots of jobs for somebody. If a tribe only has 30 people in it and they're really technically a tribe and it's a big brainwashing thing, a lot of these tribes that are in gaming, you know, they don't have thousands of people. It's like you only have to be like 1 16th or something of this tribe in order to qualify as being a member in terms of determining whether you can have casinos and stuff. I mean, I wouldn't call it a scam, but just admit you want gambling in California when you vote yes on Proposition 96. That's what I do. But don't delude yourself and think that you're really helping anyone. I mean, you're not. You're just, at the expense of one person, you're helping another.